Okay. So here we are. You need to hear this. Number 12. We've been doing this for uh, uh, 12 months already, y'all. Mm -hmm. I know it's just once a month, but that's okay. Not the point. The point is, you need to hear this. Hey, y'all. A B G J M E H E R. And today, a story of Sam and forgiveness. Now, the following came about due to Sam, a soul that had not crossed home to God. Sam stayed seeking forgiveness. From who or what? I don't know. But in the knowing part of me, this is what I spoke. Forgiveness comes from one self. The others choose to hold on. Excuse me. Forgiveness comes from oneself. If others choose to hold on to unforgiveness, that is a burden they choose to carry. I went on to picture, you know, in my mind, people carrying these little boxes and bags of various things. Unforgiveness of others, each wrong held on to as a single bag from a snack size all the way up to lawn and leaf size bags. They carry regrets too, each one in a box. The bigger the regret, the bigger the box. Can you imagine people lugging around refrigerator-sized boxes? Regrets are a type of unforgiveness. The self holds on to the idea of what holds on to the idea that a different choice would have been better. Can you see how much people carry already with just these two little things? Then I started seeing necklaces and bracelets added around their necks and wrists and ankles even. These are the hurts, the hurt feelings, the kind that lowers self-esteem, the kind that makes us believe we are unworthy, that you're not as smart as so-and-so, your nose is weird, you got an F on a test, you don't have a popular style of clothing, house, car, phone, TV, and so on and so on and so on. Infinity. Yes, we all have hearts. Maybe hearts are like single links of a chain. Each heart having a size that is parallel to the size of pain it caused. Now this is on an individual basis. My pain is, is not necessarily the same amount that you would have. It's individual people. What? Coats? People layered in coats? Coats are the fears people carry. The kind that people see as protection. The people are actually becoming insulated against. What? Insulated against what? From what they think brightens them? Fears of heights? Water? Other people? death, and so on, and on the list of fears goes. It's a wonder any of these people can stand, much less move forward. Fear also insulates people from the truth. The truth of who and what we are. The unforgiveness from others is what Sam believed made him unworthy. Actually, it's his thought that other people found him unworthy. That he felt he wasn't forgiven by other people. That is what stopped Sam from going home into the light, into the open arms of God. He couldn't move forward because he was so weighted down by his past life. All of these things are what spirit has to gradually peel away from our soul. Sometimes we hold on so tight to them that we even forget they're there. Granted, we don't have to remember everything to release it. Sometimes just the simple act of realizing that we are carrying a bag 
bag, box, or chain, and the understanding that we don't have to is enough to let them go. Each time we release a box, bag, or break a chain that we no longer need, we unbutton and remove a coat. Then the light of soul starts to peek out. We, us, the people, become beacons to ourselves to move forward and shine brighter with each thing we release. Creating a space around us that serves as a starting point, a beginning for others to see that they too have this light and are worthy of it because we are light. God, God instilled in each of us this light, his spark of life that we are, that we carry to serve others as needed. You know, he gave a son because he thought we were worthy enough to be redeemed. And yeah, Sam went home into the light from which we all come. Into the open arms of God who forgives us even if we don't. <sighs> Thanks for watching. And happy artin' y'all. Let your light shine.